everybody, this is Abe Duque and I just got back from Japan where I road tested the Keith McMillan Cuneo controller. Come with me back to Dubspot so you can see how I used it on the road. I teach, I travel, I DJ, I'm Abe Duque. This is Abe's Road Test. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Abe Duque coming to you live from my studio here in Hollis, Queens. Uh, getting ready to hit the road one more time. This time I'm going to Japan for a couple of dates in Osaka and Tokyo. And I'm going to be bringing with me the Cuneo uh, controller. That's a Keith McMillan device. It's pretty damn cool. Been playing with it a couple of days now and been setting it up for the road and been having quite a lot of fun. So this should be great. Uh, come along, see what happens in Japan, and when we get back, of course, we'll go into Dubspot, and I'll break it down for you and see what I learned on the road with the Cuneo. So I just arrived in Japan and <laughs> I'm here at the airport still in the public toilet and it's pretty cool because I've uh, never seen such a well stocked public toilet. Look at that. Anyway. <laughs> So after the lunch and a little tour we took, I got back to the hotel and you know relaxed a little more, set up the cuneo a little more, and now I've taken a shower, gotten everything ready, and it's almost about that time to go for sound check. So once again, it's the morning after, and well, it was an amazing night last night. Again, I had the problem that it was really dark in the club, and it's hard to videotape yourself as you play. So not much footage of you know what went on, but uh, needless to say, it was really awesome. <laughs> anyway, uh, right now, getting myself together. I got to get out of here in a couple of minutes. Uh, I need to get myself to the train station and take the bullet train to Osaka, where I will play tonight. So. Come along and see what happens in Osaka. Alright, just checked into my hotel in Osaka. Um, about two, three hours chilling time and then I have to go off to the sound check dinner and then the party, so come along. Alright, 
Alright, last night went awesome. It's time to check out though. Get back to Tokyo, and rest, and then back to New York City, and then to Dub Spot. <laughs> So Tuneo has tactile pads, sliders, rotary sensors, and switches. The sliders and rotaries can also have up to four banks programmed, which is really cool. The Tuneo can send both MIDI and OSC over a powered USB. Each of the 27 pads, sliders, and rotary sensors are pressure, velocity, and location sensitive. Sporting 251 multicolored LEDs, feedback is instantly responsive. 16 square pads provide 127 velocity value, XY location, and continuous pressure for each pad. Two rotaries, which you can use to scrub, stretch, pinch, and trigger phrases and sound files. Nine mappable touch sensitive sliders. LEDs within each slider can perform as VU meters or just give you feedback as to where you were. The 16 drum pads multiply to a 64 button grid in grid mode. The Cuneo is the size of an iPad and can fit into all iPad accessories, including stands, cases, and whatnot. The Cuneo can control iPad apps, but you need a couple of adapters for that. With that said, there's a couple of iPad app presets included. Now, there's 16 onboard preset slots, including 16 factory preset templates. There's a mono bridge, an OSC bridge, a launchpad emulator, where does this end? Custom mappings for Ableton Live, Logic, Mix, Reason, Serato, Native Instruments Battery, Tractor, and iPad apps, Beatmaker, and the IMS20. A micro USB connection for both power and data transfer. It's class compliant and requires no drivers, just a comprehensive Cuneo editor to program the 16 onboard presets and some software templates which are available for download. You can also download the track I used in this video complete with the custom Cuneo mappings from the web address provided below. So let's break it down. Let's start from just one pad here. Right up here, I, I just put a bass drum in there, which is really cool to have just a bass drum, but immediately I start using the pressure sensitivity of these uh, pads to set up several controls on my bass drum. So if you look on the Ableton screen, you can see that when I press down on the bass drum pad, the release opens up and the overdrive goes into craziness. I also actually send some more feed to the send return loop with the effect on it, and I get this really cool reactive sort of situation here with the bass drum. So one control with pressure controls actually at least three things at once. So after that, I have this bass line on here, and that sounds really cool. Let me just mute the bass drum. The top rows I'm using for triggers on different parts. The row right underneath that I'm using to, uh, for stop buttons. So I'll show you right here. This should stop. Get that going again. Now the bass line itself, again, I use the pressure sensitivity on it to change the actual frequency of the bass line there. Uh, same thing goes for this kind of weird part which if I press down, I can get different things going on. The snare that I set up here, I put a, I sent it to a ping pong delay. And as you see, if I'm pressing this down, I'm getting some feed to, I guess it's D, where my ping pong delay is at. And I, on this crossfader here, well, it's usually used for a crossfader, this control. 
I set up the frequency on the ping pong delay so now I can go up and down on the frequency on that. If you hear that, delaying is changing in frequency. So let's turn these guys back on. And now I've set up all these feedback ghost clips to go with the parts that are playing. I have some more parts down here, and the same thing happening here. Now, I've also set up a couple of ghost clips to give me some sort of like track countdown type situation. And if I press this here, you'll see the first one. Let me just mute the ones over here so you see how it's going and counting down. I could switch between that and this one. Now these have been programmed by me. You can program to do whatever you want. You can make it bounce all around this, this thing. It's actually quite a lot of fun. Somebody asked me if I was doing this in order to confuse people as to what was going on, and maybe, maybe that's what I was doing. But that's kind of cool actually that you can do that. So the feedback in this thing is pretty awesome. Now, the pads, as I told you, can be played either in just as one big giant trigger or they can actually use each corner to trigger a separate sound. So I have some samples here on this pad over here. This one I'm using all ends, so if I trigger here, I get a different sample than if I trigger this here, or here, or here. So, on this side, I've set up a couple of special effects for things. First, I have a beat repeat set up here on these two. Two, two beat repeats, one triggering when I press that down, and the other one, another timing on that side. Uh, right next to it, I have the pitch decay, which will help me either do that or not. Here's the other pitch decay. And I set up a second uh, beat repeat on just the hi-hat. So if I were just, just let you play the hi-hat here. If I catch it at the right time, now I've caught that hi-hat on that beat repeat, and I could also do the pitch decay thing on it. I could catch it in another spot. You sort of got to train to catch it in the right spot when you use these beat repeats. But anyway, that's a lot of fun. So let's continue to play, show you a couple of different effects that I used. Over here, I kind of made this fade to Abe, I call it. As you can see, it's just one control turning that knob, which I set up to several things inside that audio effects rack to make it fade out like that. Now, I'm turning it quite a lot because I've set a slow response time to the way the rotary works. On the way back, I set a quick response time, meaning I could jump out of it pretty quickly. So this will let me kind of ease into this whole fade to Abe. And this will let me pull back out of it. Stop button, of course, play button up here. This one will stop my animation. So I had this kind of countdown animation going, which I can trigger here and switch between my two patterns. I set this one up to turn it off. So if I just want to have the stuff play back and not the crazy animation, or if I want to shock you and surprise you with the animation later, I could just start it off and let it get going. All right, so at the end of the day, after all is said and done with this thing, what do I think? Uh, I really do like it. It's amazing. It actually does everything. Uh, pressure, aftertouch, OSC, MIDI, it does everything. So the thing is amazing. The fact that it, it's so small and easy to carry, I can, carry, I can imagine carrying five of these things and not feeling the weight too much. The fact that the iPad accessories work for it, amazing. Really smart thinking there. If you're a knob person, you might not enjoy the fact that there are no real knobs or anything on this. It is somewhere between, let's say, using an iPad and having an actual tactile controller. My grubby fingers, however, that's the biggest problem I can see with this thing. It's a little bit hard to like fiddle around with it for me. But if that's not a problem for you, uh, this could really save your life as a controller. I don't know any other controller that actually does this much. So I'm Abe Duque, and this has been the Cuneo Road Test. My grubby hands on this cuneo. So I'm Abe Duque and this has been Road Test with Abe Duque and
It's so hard to get the micro you speak. Okay, there it is. I'm not gonna use that audio. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.